hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Kay Pryor and in today's video whoa, let's redo that hey blaze hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Kay Pryor and in today's video we will be speaking about if being vegan is worth it so let's get right into it I've been vegan for nine months now and I didn't become vegan because of animal rights or because I wanted to save the planet I simply became vegan because I wanted to change up the way I've been eating so with that being said when I would eat the standard American diet consisting of meats dairy and processed food I used to feel very sluggish and bloated when I switched over to the vegan diet I didn't know the type of impact it would actually have on me after a couple of weeks of being vegan I noticed that I didn't necessarily feel sluggish or bloated after a meal I also started to appreciate myself more like I actually value the type of foods that I eat I value what I put in my body and I do feel more aware overall I no longer feel clogged up blocked or bloated when I eat certain foods also my skin is clearing up even more than it was before and there were times that I would get crazy headaches and all the Though I still get them they're not nearly as frequent or as common as they used to be before I'm not sure if that's due to the vegan diet but I definitely noticed a change since I started Now, let's get into how I actually started my vegan journey. On June 20th, 2023, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go vegan. And I actually just went cold turkey with it. Now, prior to me making that decision, I did try the vegan diet out for three months and it was a struggle. I didn't know anything about being vegan, so I pretty much just learned as I went on and I eventually got through it. I eventually switched back to my standard diet and when I did, I didn't really care for it anymore. I was eating all of my favorite foods and cooking meals that I really enjoyed, but it just wasn't hitting the same for me anymore. What inspired me to try the vegan diet was the person I was dating at the time. I noticed how much they valued the foods they put into their body and how much of an impact it had on them personally. And I was like, okay, I'm going to try this out for myself. So when I actually started to make the full on transition to being vegan, it was really hard because I didn't know what I was necessarily going to eat. I started to eat the meals I tried when I was on the three month vegan diet I also ordered these two cookbooks off of Amazon just to help me get my journey started and the recipes were very easy and simple to follow but I eventually started creating my own recipes Alright, so let's talk about the health benefits of being vegan. When it comes to health benefits of being vegan, I've experienced feeling more energized, especially when it comes to working out. I also feel mentally clear, like I actually feel more grounded than I did before, and I do feel more connected to myself. I also noticed an improvement with my digestion. I'm lactose intolerant, and at the time before the switch, I did continue consuming dairy products. So when I did finally cut it out for good, my digestive system was change for the better and if you're lactose intolerant you know exactly what I'm talking about I also experienced an improvement with my overall well-being my acne started clearing up and my skin started glowing and I developed a new appreciation for food I don't eat to just get full and carry on about my day anymore I eat to live now and that change feels very good All right, so now let's get into the challenges I had to overcome while being vegan. One of the challenges I had to overcome was being disciplined. Some days I didn't want to continue with it, but I had to realize I made the change for a reason. So I had to retain myself from wanting to dibble dabble into foods I had no business dibble dabbling in. I'm not going to lie, my progress and my focus kept me encouraged and motivated because times are hard. I wanted to eat regular foods again but I just kept looking at my progress and was like I gotta stay motivated. I gotta keep pushing forward. But this has honestly taught me a level of discipline like never before. I started this journey wanting to change the way I've been eating and I had to stick to what I started. The second challenge I faced was eating out especially if I'm eating out with friends or family. The options that were made available to me was not it. Very limited and I usually always had to pick side items 
items such as fries, potatoes, brussels sprouts, asparagus, like y'all get where I'm going. I couldn't really eat a full meal because a lot of restaurants didn't make plant-based meals. So if you're deciding to start your vegan journey, just keep that in mind. And I do want to mention they do have a couple of restaurants that are catered to vegans, but not everybody wants to eat at a vegan restaurant that is not vegan so it could kind of be like a struggle trying to find like a common ground but just keep that in mind and shout out to the restaurants that do provide plant-based meals the third challenge i had to face was getting enough protein i'm a fitness girly and one of my goals is to gain weight and so far i've been making progress but what i will say is i was a bit concerned with my protein intake when i first started because i've seen so many blogs and different things on the internet talking about nutrient deficiencies and how being vegan takes away from the amount of protein you consume i was second guessing that maybe Maybe becoming vegan was not for me because I had goals I wanted to achieve but I did decide to give it a try anyways and quickly learned that you cannot believe any and everything you see or read online. I'm not having any problems with my protein intake or any signs of nutrient deficiencies. When it comes to working out, I use plant-based protein for my smoothies and I also consume CMOS gel which has antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties which gives my body a good the source of vitamins and minerals. There are other products you can consume other than CMOS gel to balance your nutrient levels like vitamin B12, iron, vitamin D, and others depending on what your body is lacking or what you feel as if you need. Also, there are protein rich sources like legumes, seeds, and nuts that you can consume to maintain a healthy protein level. If I had just stuck to the information that I've seen online, I wouldn't be in a position that I'm in today which is thriving feeling more clear, energized, and appreciating not only what I eat, but myself as well. So back to the main question, is being vegan worth it? My answer is yes. Whether you're looking to start your journey as being vegan or wanting to test it out for a couple of days, weeks, or months, I say go for it. Now that y'all know my experiences and the challenges I face, hopefully this has helped you get an understanding of the vegan lifestyle and determine for yourself if being vegan is worth it. It, especially if you're interested in switching over as for me i would say becoming vegan was one of the best options i've ever made i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video and all the information i provided thank y'all so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you guys don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in my next one